I want to talk to you about something that has made a huge difference in my fitness journey. And I believe this is the reason I'm still able to build muscle today in my 50s. And this thing I want to talk to you about is the switch that I made from heavy lifting to lighter weights with higher reps. Listen, guys, I want to go ahead and say this now. If I would have stuck with heavy weights when I was lifting in my 40s, my mid 40s to late 40s, I just don't think I'd still be able to be lifting today. At least I wouldn't be able to lift for muscle growth. And that's very important to me. Let me backtrack if I can for just a moment. Like a lot of guys, I used to believe that lifting heavy was the only way to grow muscle. And it was all about those six to eight rep ranges, pushing those big weights and feeling that, uh, that raw power, if you know what I'm talking about. And a lot of you guys do know what I'm talking about. And yes, it worked. I I'm telling you, it worked. It worked for a little while. But once I was getting into my mid-40s, I got to tell you guys, something changed. My body just did not feel the same anymore. And I can tell you from a genetic standpoint, I'm, I'm not... I'm not genetically gifted uh, to be the greatest athlete, and I, I'm not gifted in, with genetics that, uh, that make me this really great built muscular person. I have to really work uh, for what I get when it comes to uh, muscle or when it comes to doing anything athletic. But I can tell you I am gifted when it comes to my genetics in terms of my health. And, um, and how my body heals and how my body responds to things. But with that being said, I was suddenly in my early 40s starting to deal with a lot more aches and pains, especially in my joints, than I was accustomed to. And I'm talking the type of pains that will get your attention. The type of pain, you know, I'm a big believer. You got to be a man. You got to will yourself through it. You got you to will yourself past it. But I was starting to hit a wall and I was getting to a place where I couldn't will myself past it. I just couldn't do it. And I can tell you, not only was I getting all this pain, but the recovery was taking way longer. Man, it was frustrating to me uh, trying to recover because I wanted to get back in the gym. And because of this, I found myself plateauing. The gains weren't coming as easily, and I realized that my body was spending more time trying to heal from the strain I was putting on it than it was actually spending in building muscle. And that's when I knew, as hard as it was going to be for me, something had to change. And so I decided to try something a little bit different. Of course, I read books, magazines, did my research, just like a lot of you are doing right now. You're, you're here watching this video because some of you are researching. And what I decided to do was I switched to lighter weights and started focusing on higher reps. And when I say higher reps, I mean 12 to 15 reps per set. And guess what happened? It was a game changer for me. First off, my body felt better the nagging joint pain started to disappear, and I wasn't as worried about getting injured as I had been. But the real surprise, I was still growing muscle. In fact, I felt like I was getting just as good, if not better results than I had been getting with the heavy lifting. Now, part of this was my new schedule with more recovery time, and another part of it was the less stress that I was putting on my body. So the lighter weights with the higher reps will allow you to focus more on the muscle itself. I, I'm, listen, I know this sounds too good to be true, but I'm telling you guys, if you will commit to this, that, listen, it doesn't matter really one way or the other for me how you lift. I'm trying to help you here through my experience. And I'm telling you, if you will put more focus on the muscle itself without putting your joints and tendons under so much stress, man, it's a game changer for you. 
you're, when you're constantly lifting heavy, your joints take a beating. I'm telling you, especially when you hit 40. And it's not just about the muscle anymore. It's about protecting everything that supports the muscles. And I had to learn this the hard way, unfortunately. Now, I know some of you right now may be thinking, but doesn't lighter weight mean that you're going easy? Let me tell you, that is not the case at all. You still have to push yourself with these lighter weights, but you have to do it in a smarter way. With lighter weights, you're focusing more on time under tension, form, and the mind-muscle connection. And after 12 to 15 reps of doing that, believe me, your muscles are going to know that they have been worked. So why am I so sure this switch kept me in the game? It's simple. Longevity. If I had continued to push those heavy weights into my late 40s, I'm all but certain I would have faced a major injury by now, and I can almost guarantee you I would not be lifting weights today. At least I can tell you I would not be lifting weights to gain muscle. But by transitioning to the lighter weights with a slightly higher up, I've been able to stay consistent, avoid the injuries, and still make those gains. And that consistency is the key to long-term success, whether it be my success or whether it be your success. Now, listen, if you're lifting heavy and you're doing the four to six or six to eight rep exercises and it's working for you, and you're not having suffering any injuries, not having any setbacks or anything like that. You go for it. You, go, I'm all, I'm the first one cheering you on. I'm in your corner, and I wish I could do it with you. I can't. I just can't because my body underwent so much stress from the way I was lifting 15 and 10 or 15 years ago that if I would have tried to continue that, I wouldn't get to enjoy doing anything in the gym outside of maybe walking on a treadmill or an elliptical. And I really could care less about doing those things. I enjoy lifting weights. But another thing to consider is recovery. In our 20s and 30s, we can push through soreness and bounce back in no time. But in your 40s and 50s or 60s and beyond, recovery becomes just as important as the workout itself. So lifting lighter allows me to train more frequently without overloading my body. This way, I can stay active without feeling run down or without risking injury. My advice to anyone in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond who's still holding on to the idea that heavy lifting is the only way to grow, don't be afraid to make adjustments. Listen to your body. You don't have to abandon lifting heavy altogether but incorporating lighter weights with higher reps can keep you lifting for the long haul. Some people say, well, you still have times when you only lift eight reps. Well, that's because I have fatigued the muscles and I'm at the end of a set and I'm at failure at eight. That's the only reason. It's not because I just grabbed the weight and it was so heavy I could only squeeze out eight on the first set. So I think you understand what I'm saying there. But remember this, the goal is not just to look good now that you're in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. The goal is to keep lifting as long as you can, to keep growing uh, even at the age that we are, and to stay healthy for years to come. So I'm just telling you that's my story. And switching to lighter weights and higher reps didn't just save my joints. It saved my ability to stay in the game and to keep building muscle in my 50s. So if you're noticing that your body isn't recovering like it used to, or if you're dealing with constant aches and pains, give this approach a try. Your body's going to thank you, and you will still see those gains if you do it properly. Okay, that's my story. I just wanted to share that with you. Be sure to catch this video right here. I'll see you there. And until then, you go get fit.